Hello and welcome to the video. This is to introduce you to a new piece of technology from Team Blacksheet. This is the TBS Agent Lite. It runs on radios like this RadioMaster TX16S, but anything with one of these big, beautiful screens on is going to run it fine. Now, historically, we've had the Agent X, which runs on your computer, and you connect your technology from Team Blacksheet up to it via a USB cable. You can apply updates, you can change the settings. And we've had something called the Crossfire Lua script that you could run on the radio as well, which was very simple text-based, but it's worked very well. But recently, of course, we've not only got the Crossfire system, we've also got things like the Tracer system, and we've also got things like the TBS Cloud, and it's all becoming uh, a whole family of products. So having the Lua script called Crossfire probably doesn't make a ton of sense anymore. So the new script that you can put on your radio, dead simple deal, I'll show you how to do it in a second, is called the TBS Agent Lite. Now, if you're interested in knowing more about Crossfire, Tracer, the Fusion system, the TBS Cloud, or even things like the Multibind system, I'll put links in this video down below so you can go and have a look. But let me pull the SD card out the radio, plug it into the computer, show you how you download this app, where you put it on your SD card, and how you use it on your radio. First thing you need to do is to go on the Agent X webpage, go to the bottom, and download the zip file that's there. Put the SD card from your radio, plug it into your computer, and navigate to the script slash tools directory and copy all of the files from your zip file that you've just downloaded into that folder along with everything else. That's it. Then take your SD card out the computer, pop it back in the radio, and the next time you power it up and press the system button, there at the bottom of the list will be the new TBS Agent Lite. Select it and it'll run and it will do everything that the original Crossfire script did, including talking to the Tracer system, to the TBS cloud and everything else, but now it looks an awful lot prettier. Through the system, you can do all the usual stuff like binding and updating your receivers, uh, but it's just such a nice way to navigate. This is like a little application, a baby version of the Agent X on your computer, rather than the rather uninspiring Crossfire Lua script that we've had that's been a bit of a holdover, I guess, from the days of things like the Tyrannus. In here, we can access and change things like the settings on our module, whether or not it's a Crossfire or a Tracer. We can decide how we want the mappings to work for things like the receivers and how we're going to set up and access things like the TBS Cloud and set up things like Multibind 2. There's only one little gotcha that uh, you might fall into, and that is make sure that the model that you're playing with, that you're running the script while you have selected, has CRSF set up so that the radio is lit at the back so you can talk to the module. If you haven't got that configured in the model that you've already got, then it can't talk to the module and it won't populate. So if you ever find that, that happens to you, that's the answer. Just turn on CRSF for the external module in the model memory that you have selected while you're in the menu. So I'm never going to use the Crossfire Lua script again. It's the end of an era. I'm going to use the new TBS Agent Lite because it just looks, feels and smells very much like the original Agent X. And it's kind of using the capabilities of these lovely big screens. Stay tuned because I'm sure there'll be more stuff from TBS coming in the next month or two that I'll be doing videos on as well. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.